and welcome to Thrive Thursday. So every Thursday I am going to show you how to make a recipe from start to finish, start to finish with uh, using Thrive Life freeze dried ingredients. Yay, Thrive Life. Um, each, uh, each recipe I'm gonna feature the things that are on sale that month. Yes, you can buy these anytime, but since they're on sale, why not learn a couple of recipes you can do with them? Um, if you hear a noise, that's just my butter. I wanted to start this recipe off with a little bit of butter and I realized all my butter was frozen. So I'm not cheating, it was frozen, so I'm trying to level the playing field here. Normally your butter probably is not frozen. But anyhow, this is our October sales flyer. This starts tomorrow. And uh, on sale this month, we've got diced beef, green beans, grilled seasoned chicken slices, onion slices, mashed potatoes, blueberries, banana slices, and green chili peppers. And I'm so excited. You can get a box of one of everything that's on sale for an even bigger discount. So excited about that. That's a great way to build your food storage and you're buying all sale items every month. Um, okay. So let's get to the recipe because it looks like my butter's ready. Today I'm gonna to be making chicken pot pie. So I'm gonna tilt the camera down so you can get a good view of what I do. All right, so this, I just started melting my butter and this isn't required. However, kinda a fun thing to do is, and this, I'm just eyeballing this. So this is about uh, two shakes, it was about, two tablespoons of onions I'm gonna put in the bottom. So I'm doing this so that we can kind of get some caramelization going on here. This will help bring out some good flavor. All right, I'm gonna turn this down a little bit because I want to also add, so you just wanna think of the foods that are gonna have the best caramelization. Our corn. those coated. Mm. Okay, and then get that going. Because this recipe is pretty much just eyeballed with the proportions, if you need to add more water, add more water. If you need it thicker, you can always add more of the sauce bases that we'll add here in a minute. It's really, there's no rhyme or reason, there's no wrong way to do it. It's gonna be amazing uh, however you put it together because the ingredients have such high quality. So basically, I've got enough water in there now for my chicken and my vegetables to rehydrate and you can add what other vegetables any other vegetables your family likes if they like celery um thrive has celery they have potato dices they have peppers it, it really i mean they have so many different things it's whatever your family likes in their chicken pot pie so 
Now we're gonna thicken up the sauce. This is the, I think you pronounce it voulet, that's how I call it at least, that voulet sauce. It's basically chicken gravy. Um, and so we're gonna add this, this chicken, this is in, in place of doing something like cream to chicken soup or something like that, this voulet sauce is, uh, it's gonna be our sauce. Uh, it's made by Thrive Life. They have some amazing sauces. Oh my goodness, you really should try some of their sauces. They're so good. You can add them to about anything, and they're good. You can use them as like a thickening agent, which is what I'm doing here, to help thicken up the sauce for the, the chicken pot pie. This one is the bechamel sauce. This is another sauce that Thrive does. It's basically just a white sauce. Now, I'm doing both sauces because unlike chicken gravy, chicken pot pie is a little bit more creamy, right? We want a little more creaminess. So I'm adding a little bit of this bechamel white sauce to give it that creaminess. So it's not necessarily like a gravy, but it's also not just a pure cream sauce either. We're gonna do the best of both worlds. Bechamel doesn't have a real strong flavor. It's a great um, foundation white sauce for things like sausage gravy or things that you can, basically you're adding other flavors to it and um, and it, it's a very basic white sauce. Whereas our voulet sauce, that is our chicken gravy, so that's got some good chicken flavor with it. Um, I'm kind of a weirdo when it comes with sauces and MSG and preservatives and things like that in our food at, at our house and so I do really love the Thrive sauces that they are, are made with quality good ingredients and there's not a bunch of long words that you can't pronounce as the ingredients in their, their sauces. Um, and so I do love that and the quality of the flavor is just phenomenal. So as you can see it doesn't take that long to thicken up. Now if I want it thicker I can just add some more of the sauce powder and it'll help thicken it right up. I was a little nervous to add any more because I, I wanted to make sure that all the vegetables were completely rehydrated. And so remember, you can always taste test. So mostly I wanted to see how the flavor was doing if I had the right balance with the gravy and the bechamel and it is great. Oh my goodness, so good. So I'm gonna add just a touch of this chef's choice. I even hesitated because really it didn't need it, but you know, you can always have a little more flavor, right? Um, the Chef's Choice is, is a seasoning made by Thrive and it's a great, really versatile seasoning that goes with just about anything. Um, so it, it's not going to hurt to add a little bit of that in there, give it a little extra seasoning. Um, but this is pretty much good to go. Now if we wanted to do a soup, this is it. It's done. That was quick and easy. You could serve it with breadsticks or biscuits or rolls or something. But this is all of our chicken pot pie, our base, our filling is done. That's it. Good to go. And so now it's just time. I'm going to clean up a little bit. And I, I, I prefer to keep my Thrive ingredients in these clear canisters so I can see how much I have. Um, and they stack a little bit better in my pantry. But that's just me personally, something I do. So I wanted to convert that over while I had it. I had a fun idea about using Pillsbury Crescent Rolls for our chicken pot pie crust. So it's flaky, it's delicious. We're gonna do that this time because it, you know, you experiment on your own family, right? So using a big casserole dish, now if you want this traditional pie shape, you can. You could pour this in a pie crust, whether you make it from scratch or buy one, you could pour it in a pie crust. I'm just doing casserole pan because I have a big family and we're going easy. So. The crescent roll, this, these are so flaky and delicious. I think these are going to make an amazing topping to our, our chicken pot pie crust. Um, so measuring out, I was trying to figure out how well it would fit across the top of my pan. And um, so you, you, it does need to be stretched. You can actually even put these on the counter and roll them out with a rolling pin but um, I dipped it in a little bit in this sauce so I didn't want to make that mess. So I'm just going to stretch it a little bit by hand and we'll do half and half and sometimes you split it in half and it fits a little bit better. You can stretch it in smaller amounts. So I mean it's so easy. All I'm, you just unroll it. I'm just unrolling it across the top. And once I get these two unrolled I'm going to pop it in the oven and bake it for 
until, really just until the top is done. So at 350 degrees and um, that'll cook our top. Everything else in there is already cooked. All the Thrive ingredients are pre-cooked. So if I wanted, I could just dig in to that, that chicken base and just start eating it right now. It's done, it's ready. So we're just gonna pop it in the oven. This is purely just for the croissant topping. Um, I'm gonna add a little bit more chef's choice just kind of because it's fun and it makes it look not as plain on top and it's a little more flavor, right? That's not gonna hurt. And that's pretty much it. It's ready to go. Pop it in the oven and there's dinner for your family. All right, so I just put the uh, chicken pot pie casserole into the oven. Um, I, I, it took me less than 13 minutes to get it to this point. Now, um, I'm going to bake it for just basically until the, until the croissant top is cooked because everything else is pre-cooked. So I, if I wanted a soup or something, if we wanted like chicken pot pie soup instead, it was ready to go. We're good to go. Um, less than 13 minutes, but since I'm going to do this as a casserole, I did the topping, the croissant topping, and we're going to bake it for just 350 degrees for about 10 minutes. I'll check it and see how the croissant is. Like I said, everything else in there is already cooked, and so once it's rehydrated, it's good to go. Um, in fact, it was actually less than 13 minutes because 13 minutes included my time uh, cleaning things up. Holy cow, I did not realize that. Yeah, 13 minutes, that included my time cleaning stuff up for the next part of the video. So this really, I mean, I now I'm curious, I wanna go back to the video and look, I bet it was like way less than 10, I bet it was like five minutes, five, five to seven minutes. If you were gonna do chicken pot pie soup, it would take you about five to seven minutes. Um, and then just doing it as a casserole or, you know, an actual chicken pot pie, you've got an extra 10 minutes on there to bake it, uh, for the croissants. But other than that, not bad, right? I, I have to tell you, if you're looking for some quick and easy dinners, Thrive is the way to go. Plus the shelf life on these, like 25 to 30 years unopened. Once you open them, they're good shelf stable. You don't have to put them in your fridge. They're good anywhere from like six to 18 months. There's a couple items that are high fat content like the pulled pork is only good for three weeks once it's open, but still three weeks, like holy cow. Um, I just really cannot say enough about how awesome freeze dried food is, especially with all the events going on in, in the world today, it's worth having some stuff on hand. Um, check out some recipes. I do have a recipe book on Amazon that you can get. I'll put the link down below this video and it is, it's not Thrive specific. It, I mean, it works with Thrive and some of them are, they say Thrive ingredients, but you can use it with shelf stable food storage items. So the whole point of this, um, of the, the cookbook, the recipe book is for recipe and cooking ideas using your food storage, your shelf stable food storage items. So um, if you're looking into food storage and food storage recipes, definitely check it out. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up here and then I will post a picture of the end result. 